Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and they're losing the L in the drawing. And they, he said it's his final touches, and he's done a really good job. Uh, it's pretty neat work. And this is what he wants. He don't want to. He's engraving this on a. Well, look at the detail of the owl and the plow. He doesn't want. He doesn't want it white. He just wants it. So the L doesn't get lost in this. I've already done it. And I love doing ones like this because it's a little bit of a challenge. But if you just uh, think about it a couple of different ways, our item is like almost five inches. So we're going to set our nudge factor on five. We're going to, and I always move one out of the way in case I mess it up, even though I've got two others here. And I am going to go to object and group and ungroup. And then I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. Now I'm gonna to go to these items and go group and ungroup. Now I could have ungrouped them all or ungrouped all, but a lot of times that doesn't work good. So now we have our L. Well, there's a problem with the L uh, in his drawing. And I can almost see it now, but if I left click, right click, that's what the L is made out of. So we don't really need that. But what we can do is we can nudge that entire L down out of the, I didn't mean to see the T's the same way. So just, I need to go and group. So you see, evidently those items are just grouped together several times. So I've got the shape of the L we really don't want all that garbage in there, so this will actually help us. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool, set it on another color than black, and we're going to fill in. So what it did, it filled in everything but the L. Then we're going to take this, and we're going to left-click No Fill and right-click an Outline and go up to Object and break the curve apart and then get rid of this box. This is our new L. And it's going to be actually better than that L. But we need to take this L and go to Effects or go to Object. No, no, go to Effects and Contour. I'm going to contour. The one I'm doing this for, you want to watch your thickness, but I'm going to do a 0 0.05 to the outside. And I made a contour. Now I am going to go up to Object and break the contour apart. I'm going to grab the middle one and move it out of the way and actually put it down over there. I'm going to go ahead and fill it with black, take away the outline. And on this one, I'm going to fill this in, in with blue, just for, in, just for grins. Put it back in our item. Now, this is all one object, and this is one object, so we can go here and try back minus front. That didn't work front minus back, and that's what we want. Now we can take our smaller L and nudge it into that spot. And what we have is a line around the L in our drawing. Now it might be too thick, so you could go with a lesser one. And also your L's not perfectly straight. Uh, I don't know if that's just part of the logo or if that's good enough for you. I would do the same thing on the T. Because the T's got up uh, some problems too. Then you could nudge the FFA back over. And we're going to do the same thing just to make a clearer, better picture of it. So it'll just be pure black. We're going to get the Smart Fill tool. Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Nudge it down. Actually nudge it over. Then we can left click, no click, fill, right click and outline break the curve apart and we can actually fill in that black that T with black and now you've got a pure black that might not help or it might help because you've got you've got some problems in this T and if you if you look real close you can actually see those lines it should not affect it but you can see there's actually different colors or you could have possibly just grabbed it all and made the outline black. And then it should have taken that away. But safely, I would go ahead and do what I did. So here is your 
finished logo, and if we take a yellow box trick, put it on top, the, the L will stand out. Now, just play with, I don't know how big, if this is the size that's going on the cup, you know, that's pretty good size. You could maybe make that a little bit thinner, contour at 0 0.04, or just kind of play with it. Anything like this, if you have a test cup, I would test it. If you don't, I would do it on a piece of scrap wood and just kind of look at that. Look to, I mean, you're, everything else, uh, my hat's off to you for your graphics. Uh, the eagle, the, the shield, the arrows, uh, the wheat looking deal, the plow, the field. I mean, you've done a really good job. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.